Good morning, friends. What's up out there in bike land? All you nutballs, wing nuts, speed freaks, gearheads, and the lot. We're gonna talk about um, wheel alignment today. Um, got some stuff set up here for you. Um, there's some information out there from a couple of different um, sites. Got a, a couple of different builders. Young kid Keegan, somebody there, and like Bike Berry. Um, talking about uh, lining up a screwdriver against your frame and then holding it to your <clears throat> um, sprocket to make sure that it's true. Uh, I'm going to say that's good information and bad information. You need to make sure that your wheel is uh, properly set up first. So um, unless you're using a mag composite alloy um, or a carbon fiber rim, um, you're probably going to have... Um, this kind of a situation developing. Um, what happens is the um, pressure, uh, I'm just just stop here real quick. I have, um, I have one thick, one thin, and one thick uh, going to the inside. You can see it's doubled up. Um, and that's my tip um, as far as, if you can, when you're doing the rag joint setup, um, that will alleviate that um, issue with the with the rim bending list as much I'm sorry not the rim but the spokes but what it does is the pressure comes in and then it's gonna pull your whole um, system out of line in the first place so um, you have to make sure your wheel is true before you even worry about your sprocket otherwise you're gonna have two problems and not one um, so my advice for you um, and I'm just gonna show a um, talk about this and then I'll put a little picture in here too um hey what's up folks all right, all right. so sorry about the skip okay. air with the editing but um going back to what we were saying um my tip for you today is if you can see on this rim I've taken the wheel off and I've added just the tiniest little bit of misting of um auto body primer this is a steel rim um, off of a Roadmaster bike made in the USA uh, one of the few fortunates out there if you can still find them um, laying around in a scrap pile or something but you can see there's a little skip trace um, along the edge of the rim and every other side basically skip paint skip paint um, until I get to the bottom of this and hopefully the the camera angle stays true because sometimes uh when i'm doing the video um apple decides to use one of the other top or bottom end of the um the plug and play here so um i do apologize i know a couple people have told me something about that too so um but you can see right here there's a big old holiday at the bottom there where um the far side of the rim um, that I have on my setup is not really getting the brake caliper action. So that's where I need to pay attention. So what I'm showing you here is, you know, you're going every other spoke. And like I said before, usually it's um, clockwise and that's going to bring that back into line. So um, just wanted to give you that uh, little tip and you can get rid of that um, with a little bit of lacquer thinner, nail polish, whatever you have around afterwards when you're done. Um, and if not, it'll just wear right off if you're not that concerned about it. If it's just a get to work and not a showpiece. But um, anyway, stop this video or stop this commentary here and um, pick it back up here again and get back to the other video. All right, folks. Uh, so try to gather my thoughts here and uh, pick up where I left off with you guys. Uh, I'm still kind of just showing um, what's been going on there with the um, the pressure as I had spoke to you guys about. Um, I wanted to switch gears, so to speak, no pun intended. Um, but um, yeah, there's also um, a lot of people having problems with the carburetor. So um, I think I'm gonna end up post it up as well on um, just some basic tuning tips. I know a lot of the sites that I go to uh, as far as like uh, group interaction a lot of people having car problems 
and oftentimes I think it's something that's um, really overlooked and it's a very simple fix um, so hopefully it'll help somebody out there too um, I was just doing a morning inspection there I guess when I was riding home last night the exhaust gas came a little loose so I gotta clean the cylinder up but, uh, anyway uh, hope you're all having a great day um, and I hope this uh, makes some sense and somebody can understand it. I know I'm, I'm kind of a visual learner myself. Sometimes you tell me something and it just goes in one ear and out the other. It's not that I'm not paying attention or it's not good information, but um, I've been in a coma for eight days and um, I, was, I died and been in a coma and uh, came back. So um, some of my, my brain faculties aren't always um, the best uh, when it comes to remembering and a lot of these videos I think maybe uh, I'm even doing for myself, you know, just so down the road uh, I can go back through and watch some of them if I'm, if I'm in a jam. But um, anyway, yeah, um, I'm also going to do a shout out video here shortly and um, I'm going to put some information in that. But I uh, just want to give you all a heads up, uh, look out for that as well. So. Um, Anyway, have a great day, and uh, it's a crazy time of year, the rush is on, um, please take your time and enjoy yourself, you know, while all these cars are going a million miles an hour, man, just uh, keep your head up, be alert, and, uh, you know, stay focused as much as you can, uh, this, is, this is the perfect time of the year to do 10 miles an hour and not, you know, 40 or 50, and uh, really just take in the sights. As all the uh, spring leaves and uh, foliage start to come out, you get all the colors from the, uh, what is that stuff called? Buds on the trees, yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I'm going to do a quick shout out to um, for somebody here in the local community that's uh, really been helping me out. Um, his name's Dave. Um, they're over here in uh, Coventry, Rhode Island. And uh, I'll post a little clip at the end of this. Um, the shop's called Cars, and uh, they're one of the premier body paint uh, suppliers here in Rhode Island. Uh, great people, and um, even if you're out of state, I don't know if they'd help you, but check them out if you're nearby. Godspeed.